Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. What if I told you there's a secret going on in the marketplace that uh, is not being reported in the news, isn't being reported at all? Well, I have seen a couple of reports, but I mean, they're dismissed if you're not in that uh, in the market for that. And that is learning to code. Now, there was a whole big controversy about learning to code uh, during the Obama administration and, and now it resurfaced in the uh, uh, current president, but I'm not concerned about that. I'm going to talk about learning to code as learning to code. The marketplace has spoken. What is the marketplace spoken? If you If you have been paying attention to uh, to the to the land and what's going on in uh, colleges across the land uh, colleges uh, and schools in general I mean even down to elementary schools are failing men failing men are not wanted uh, boys are not wanted there have been books written by men and women talking about schools not wanting boys and men in their schools and that men are toxic and blah 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 and so the schools have uh, set their uh, drawn their the line in the sand and said we really don't want men to be in school so let's literally do away with men and the only reason that men are in school is because uh, the stem fields are filled with men and uh, women have said that uh, men shouldn't be in the, the STEM majors, uh, that women should be in STEM majors. And so you have stuff like uh, the chemistry department uh, being uh, being filled with women all of a sudden. Uh, because I'm, uh, I guess that translates into uh, uh, pharmacy. So where you sit in a nice, cushy, air-conditioned uh, office and uh, you count uh, pills to old people and put them in bottles and uh, charge them a few hundred dollars of which they never get to see they only see about a uh, about a one tenth of that and in, uh, in their copay and uh, that is the, their career however the women quit uh, after all of that schooling, in, even in STEM majors, women quit. Women quit. The women don't want to work. So the marketplace has spoken. If uh, schools uh, don't want to teach men, they don't want boys and men in school, the marketplace has spoken, and they've come up with a whole host of private schools, uh, anywhere to private schools where you go to the school itself, or you learn online, or a mixture of both. Uh, and, and what and what's the answer? And what's the what, what? What is? What are these schools? These are schools to learn to code. Now, why do you think there is is an explosion that you're not hearing about? Why do you think there is an explosion of private companies coming to uh, uh, coming to the marketplace to say? We need to teach you how to learn a code, and we are. And hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, we believe so much in this that uh, we're not going to do because uh, because we're we're probably not I'm not funded by the uh, uh, what is it called Fannie Mae. What is what, no no not Fannie Mae. What is it called? <laughs> what is this? What's, what's the student loan thing that I don't pay? Uh, what is that called? <laughs> uh, that we're not covering under that. So here, here's what uh, we believe in so much, and we believe that 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 this is going to be a win-win-win situation. Who's going to win? The private school's going to win. The man's going to win, and the company that is going to hire you is going to win. We believe in it so much that you don't have to pay during your time of learning. Some of them, I don't know how the how they do it. Some of them uh, are c teaching you uh, how to code for free, completely free. I, I think they actually get you to do some stuff. 
Yeah, now that I think about it. Uh, they get you to do some stuff for them. They teach you how to code and then they get you to do some stuff for free. I mean, they taught you how to code for free. So the, the, the least you could do is actually start coding for them for free while you're learning. Uh, how, about, how about that? How about that? Uh, so the secret is that uh, they are taking men and teaching them how to code. So what what does that speak of? What what does that tell you? The marketplace has spoken that we want men and we want to learn them to teach them how, and we believe in it so much that you don't even have to pay up front. Full scholarship ride while you're learning. And after you get your certificate or certification or, or, or diploma or degree or whatever we're going to give to you, we are then going to take our time and place you in a job. And once you get that job, then we're going to require that you pay back the money uh, in, in installments uh, with, your, uh, with your salary. That's how much we believe in it. And to the tune of a 90% success rate. 90% success rate. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, that, that means that the marketplace has, has, has already come up with private, no government interference whatsoever. The private industry of the marketplace has spoken and has come up with this idea that they are going to do this educational system specifically for men and specifically for coding to such a degree that they have a 90% success rate. There is no school and not even Harvard has a 90% success, not even Harvard. Because the people who graduate at the 50% uh, percentile in Harvard uh, also don't get jobs. Uh, even even if they have Harvard on that, they, they still, you know, those who make uh, C's and D's, they still don't get jobs. Brown University, Yale University, still don't get jobs. Still, still. There is no 90%. But with this, there's a... Why? Because it is strict science. It's strict math. It's strict... Uh, do you know how to code yes or no? Yes. Get a job. And then I looked at the average salary. The average salary ranges from uh, 60000 all the way up to 300000 The average... It's a big, huge gap... But I mean, it's a gap that uh, uh, better left uh, uh, for 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 uh, a very highly skilled uh, uh, type of uh, industry, right? Uh, and and uh, it's uh, there is no uh, political teaching, there is no social justice, there's none of that stuff, and and there's uh, a tremendous lack of women, as as much as women. Uh, have all sorts of group of uh, females coding and females learn to code and and women in coding and women in gaming and women 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 paid paying for women paying for women paying for women paying for women. As much as all of that is going on, the marketplace is spoken. We don't want women. Oh, Shikamit, you're just hating on women. No, I'm not hating on women. I'm giving you a report. Here's the report. CE, female CEO of a uh, computer uh, company, a, uh, a uh, coding company uh, in uh, Silicon Valley came to a women's day and said, look, hold on. I had women. I had men. When crunch time came, the men stayed for overtime. The men stayed for all out all hours. The men worked 60, uh, 80, 100 hours, 120 hours in the week for me. The women sat around, did their nails, sat on their phone and left early and never stayed over when it was crunch time for the whole uh, whole company. And of course the men got the bonuses and then the women wanted the bonuses, but they weren't even there. Uh, so I fired all the women and I will never hire a woman. This is a woman CEO uh, over her own company. She said she will never hire a woman ever again, ever again. Because of, because of the behavior of women. Uh, they, yeah, sure, they might know how to code, but their behavior and their job equity and worth equity is not worth anything. Diddly squat.
uh, the, you got you got to be nice for YouTube these days. Uh, so, uh, the marketplace has spoken. They have said we we want men. We need men. Here's another secret that you might not have heard of. Uh, there are millions of coding jobs that are open. And no, they're not taken for foreigners because here's the scenario at the schools. Uh, you go to a university, you go into the STEM fields, you go into the, the, com the computer science fields, and it's filled with Asians. Just filled with Asians. Asians here on visas. Asians, Asians here on scholarship. And uh, come graduation, the Asians say thank you for the degree. Bye bye all the Asians leave. And so you have sat there for four years and taught Asians in your computer science uh, uh, college and uh, uh, and uh, you have nothing to show for it. I mean nothing. Now, and they, they got scholarships to boot. So taxpayer funded, privately funded, uh, uh, socially funded uh, to try and get uh, a hold of this whole uh, complete uh, completely empty and very vast uh, openings for coding uh, and uh, they have nothing to show for it that they were just sort of used you for anybody who plays video games it's like the guy who goes into the joins the guild takes all the equipment takes all the epic loot and uh, and then dashes out of the guild, leaves the guild. Bye bye. So you have nothing to show for. Uh, you went on fifty raids of fifty uh, of uh, two hundred uh, bosses, uh, bosses, and got all the loot. And now you have nothing to show for it because that guy took all the loot. That's how it is. I'm not saying anything against Asians. I, I know exactly what they're doing. They're going, they're coming here to learn the stuff and then go back to the country and uh, apply it in their country. I, I don't fault them for that. It's just a reality. No. So please don't come in here. So oh, I'm offended for Asian. No, no, that's, that's, it's a reality. It happens in finance too. Well, finance is even worse. Same exact thing. Same scenario. Asians come in get a finance degree, get an MBA degree, uh, get a get a PhD in finance and go back to their country. That's what they're here for. They're here for the, to learn their stuff. The problem is they're taking all the scholarships. That's the problem. And no amount of uh, Asians are head, uh, held to a higher standard and uh, uh, they, they're, they're, uh, they have to do twice as good as everybody. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, they're going to go back to their country. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And if you say anything in the academic setting about the Asians leaving and taking their degrees and going back home, you are then branded with all sorts of names and stuff. Well, the marketplace has spoken. Okay. Uh, no, we're not accepting Asians. No, uh, uh, since we are dictating who gets the scholarship... We want Americans. And no, they don't have to be just white men. They can be any colored men. But they have to be American because we're the ones handing out the scholarships. So no, we can reject whomever we want. Because, wh why is this? It's because there is a huge vacuum of, of c people who know how to code. And we're trying to, m m try to get into the future trying to move into the future, try, trying to get technological, have a technologically advanced... Oh, we were the information society. First, we were the industrial society. Then we are the uh, 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 service society. And, and now we're at the information society, trying to move into the technical society. And, and we, we can't quite get it started because we don't have people with technical skills. And women aren't going to do it because of the behavior of women and, and their work ethic. It's, it's just... It's, it's, ter it's terrible. And if and, and the problem is you can't say anything about it. Not as a politician. Not in academia. Uh, not even in, at the corporate level. You can't say, hey, you know, hey, no, you know what, boss? We should probably shouldn't hire women because they quit. 
we put we spend all this time with the on the on the job training we use even with a degree you still have on the job training we spend all this time with the on the job training to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars each person so we invest in each each employee tens of thousands of dollars and after after the uh, on the job training the women quit not only do they quit they don't go work for a competitor they just quit period so that job opening is completely open. It is not filled at all. So now we go have to go uh, start over and search. And and we can't say whether we want to search for men. How about them, Apple? So all of these vacancies that they need to be filled, the marketplace has spoken and says, we're going to start these businesses and teach you how to code. So you can learn to code on our dime and you need to fill these spots and men will stay at the job and men have good worth ethic uh, this the, the ethic that you are not used to because there's so many uh, women who have come into the marketplace uh, as part of laborers although uh, although labor participation rate of women is still lower than the 80s although the population is what almost twice as what it was in the 80s uh, and I'm just making up numbers now, but, but, but there should be the most women in the labor market. Uh, and I know the current administration said, uh, yeah, but the current administration, uh, any sort of federal administration who gives out reports are going to take away certain things to make their reports look good. So don't pay attention to those reports. You pay attention to what Shikama says to you. Shikama is never, never going to lead you wrong. Now we're teaching men how to code. And this is going on under the table, behind the scenes, behind the curtain, uh, you know, behind closed doors, and nobody's reporting on it. Huge numbers, huge vacancies for coding, and huge amounts of schools that literally are bending over backwards to teach, train men to code. Because they want men to, and we're talking about Americans, so they want Americans who are actual citizens, citizens to, to teach them how to code because we have to move the society forward. And all this other stuff, all this social and political stuff needs to really go out the window. Uh, so I want to encourage you all to learn how to code. Thank you all for watching.